pursued this I nine and got a rank six. How did you go about it, and what was all this about? My internship, so that I can concentrate more on my internship duties after internship only. Question banks. Uh, I want to uh, prep ladder question bank and rapid revision notes. Both are very amazing. Actually, with that seat, with the strategy, uh, this is just a game of revisions. Hello everyone I welcome you back to the channel today we have with us a guest who is not only a very special rank holder in this INI set may but also his entire story is something which is very inspiring and it is something that if someone can get a rank 508 in the previous INI November still he pursued this INI and got a rank 6 so we have with us Dr Karthik Chinmay he is a uh, batch 2016 MBBS from Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute I welcome you, sir, to this channel, and I hope that you know all the uh, juniors watching this would really benefit from this podcast. Thank you, thank you so much. I want to thank you. Uh, I want to thank the entire preparatory team. So, uh, in the all, you know, sir, uh, we want to know about your journey right from you know uh, the previous uh, rank of five zero eight to what you may decided to pursue this attempt, and how did you go about it, and what was all this about? Actually, my journey begins from my third year and final year. Uh, in third year and final year, I made good solid notes. Uh, in my internship, I did my first year and second year notes. So at the end of my final year, I had first year, second year and uh, third year, fourth year notes. My internship was a little bit hectic. So I decided not to burden myself. Uh, so I decided to take seat after my internship so that I can concentrate more on my internship duties. So my actual preparation for uh, PG exam begins after internship only. So during the first three months of my post internship period, uh, since I had uh, already done my notes, I focused on question banks. Uh, I want to tell that the prep ladder question bank was really awesome. Uh, prep ladder question bank and rapid revision notes both are very amazing. If uh, anyone asks me how to get uh, rank within 5000 by studying one month i can surely tell that uh, you study rapid revision notes they were uh, amazing let me q bank also very amazing i used to solve all the q bank models after completing my revision in in the notes uh, i used to add everything to my notes only so that uh, at the end of my revision i used to uh, go through my notes only uh, so i do add everything to my notes uh, it took me around three months to complete my first revision with q banks uh, so at the end of uh, each subject i used to give subject wise tests sir uh, after completing one to one first year and second year subjects i used to give grant tests on every sunday almost uh, i took three months for my first first revision and uh, i got a rank of five not eight in that November I said I am getting the peripheral aims pediatrics I was interested in medicine or pediatrics branch I was getting actually the peripheral aims pediatrics but I know I had much more capacity I had much more potential so I actually quit that seat and actually prepared well for my NEET and May session May NICT session uh, I just did uh, the revision of notes again and again after I said November I actually did four to five times of revision before NEET. So I got rank of 234 in the NEET exam, sir. So it actually boosted my confidence. So I have one seat with me uh, so that I can uh, compete for uh, central institutes. So I again did my revisions and actually INA seat preparation, they actually uh, focus more on previous year questions. So I actually did previous year games uh, questions uh, so now I ended up in getting rank of six. I think that's that's really a way, a very great way of uh, you know describing the entire journey. And I'm sure that all those all those who are watching this will surely you know kind of learn from this interview that uh, even if you are an intern or someone who are uh, in the third or fourth year or even someone who is, has taken a drop, they can always learn that uh, you need to be well prepared for this exam and then dedicated preparation of say at least six months is. Uh, very much required irrespective of whether you have uh, studied previously or not. So I think that's a very uh, good point. So now, as you said, sir, that your source of preparation was prep letter. So when did you start it? I think you started in third year, I guess. 
if you started in third year so what was your strategy because the exam is not in a year or in a two year exam is uh, say after three years so it's a very long process that you uh, think in that direction and study what you are studying right now so how did you use prep letter in general as well as for your prof exam and what was your approach i know that uh, this crazy preparation was a little bit difficult from board exam so we actually may we should make our own notes so my preparation begins from third year from third year i used to watch prep letter videos and make the notes of the respective years from third year and final year i did the uh, third year final year notes uh, during my internship period i was uh, making that pending first year and second year ka notes so at the end of the internship uh, so at the end of my internship i had all good oh. handwritten notes prep letter videos so i didn't solve any q banks before my internship period so my actually my neat pg was my first grand test so after neat pg 2022 i solved prep letter question bank mod question modules so i think you started giving proper gts after your you know uh, internship end and your after neat pg uh, 2022 so how how did you felt the uh, gts to be a simulation of the real exam and what was your progress like suppose if you give 10 gts or 15 gts do you have some thing in mind that okay you started with this and you know you slowly corrected your mistake and how did you saw the entire gt process my first i gave my first gt after completing my first and second year subjects sir right initially when i gave my first gt i scored rank i scored i got 130 questions right 130 or 135 questions right somewhere then i progressively increased my scores Uh, it then came to 140 in my second gt and then progressively increased i totally gave almost 20 to 22 gts up to uh, until november ina set mm-hmm. my scores were gradually increasing and my final score was around 172 questions right sir right so i think the entire journey is very fruitful that uh, once uh, someone start from say 100, even 100 mcq correct or less than that and then gradually to the main target of around 160 plus mcqs in general so i think that was a great approach uh, so uh, with respect to sir the final year the medicine is something a subject which is you know uh, haunting every uh, in general prof student also but at the same time when uh, there's less time remaining for need it becomes very difficult to revise medicine but at the end you must obviously know core medicine to an extent so that you can solve those uh, particular core medicine questions so what was your approach uh, and how did you approach medicine by dr deepa uh, dr marwa sir actually medicine is a huge subject it is uh, a super specialty subject there is lots and lots of things to learn lots of lots of stuffs to write but we have to restrict ourselves for the important questions and uh, almost frequently repeated questions so i think dr marwa sir has helped me in that aspect because he has a clear uh, he has cleared our concepts and also gave a crisp and concise notes so that we can revise within 6 to 7 hours the entire medicine we can revise within 6 to 7 hours and i think that's the most important thing because uh, we have so much to study for all subjects also medicine surgery obg there are so much to learn but we have to restrict ourselves for the most frequently asked questions and also the concepts i think marvas sir helped helped me in that that's great so apart from the uh, you know core uh, discussion strategies uh, one thing that you did like you took an another chance after rank 508 so i think that must have been very difficult maybe because your friends or peers would be really excited by your rank and they would have always thought get even if you get a peripheral aims it's still good so how did you you know uh, Uh, uh supported yourself in this decision and what was your you know approach for this actually it was a big decision and big responsibility on my shoulders because i have to prove myself because rank 508 is also not small uh but i have to get some more good rank otherwise uh, people may mock at me so it is a great responsibility on my shoulders so i genuinely prepared after november i and i said i gave more gts and uh, i am more confident on my rank so i revised again and again i watched the revi- uh, revision modules revision videos of uh, prep ladder and fi- finally when i got the rank of 234 in neat it actually boosted my confidence so i have i got one seat in my hand 
so that I can prepare well for my INI set May session with the peaceful mind. So with this, I can able to get rank of six. Right. So I think this was really a very tough decision to make. But at the end, if you know you have gone through that entire process and you uh, trust that journey, so obviously the result will come out. So now, uh, sir, if anyone is watching this, maybe in their second year or even in third year, so like you approached it in third year. So now if, if there are any, you know, sort of not mistake, but something which you think that I should have done this differently, maybe something like that. So if your advice to juniors who are watching it, maybe in second year, third year or final year, what would be your uh, approach to them for upcoming exams whenever they come? Actually, uh, begin your preparation right from the first year only. Make good handwritten notes of yourself so that you can uh, able to recall and revise uh, much efficiently and solve the QBank modules immediately after completing the videos. That thing I missed, I think. Uh, solve the QBank modules and give regular, give the subject-wise text very regularly. After your second year, when you come to third year and final year, start giving GTs. Uh, no worries how much marks you will get, but uh, it will give your, uh, it will give, it will actually give your exam experience. Uh, solve Q banks, solve Q banks, and revise your notes in your internship so that you can easily crack during your internship period only. So I understood uh, all these preparation periods. I understood this is just a game. This is ge just a game with the strategy. Uh, this is just a game of revisions. This is just a game of revision. So have patience. Do wait for your good attempt and uh, be disciplined because the discipline is most important thing. You have to be very consistent with your studies. You have to study uh, at a constant rate of 10 to 12 hours per day. So all this dedication, patience and also the revisions, revision, revising again and again will definitely achieve, will make you achieve this good rank. So I think this is a very important message that unlike, you know, UG period of time when someone is good in physics, so even with less amount of efforts, they can do the correct, but you can't basically that thing. But yes. in this particular phase, it's something that even if you are, say, a normal uh, average medical student, or even if you have been topper throughout, until and unless you give it a sufficient amount of revisions, uh, that exam would be uh, not possible to crack basically. So I think uh, the approach suggested by sir is really great that if you are someone who are, you know, starting off way earlier, so it will be an advantage for you. Uh, so not to burden yourself at any point of time, you can always be disciplined and consistent and believe that how much you will revise that much will be the outcome. So I think uh, this was all in all a very great session, sir. I think the audience would have really benefited from it. So I hope that uh, you'll be getting a seat this time in Ames Delhi Medicine or PDA for sure or anything. So we wish you all the best for your journey. And we really look forward for all the experience that you gain in the time. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy. And if you have any further queries, you can comment below.